We're doing an account tune up for Dark. He redeemed his 100,000 channel points on Twitch, which is crazy. And he is on my server, server 47. Now, does that mean you were on our original server? I don't remember which server we were on, honestly. It's been so long since we had our merge. You were part of our server group of 10 servers, I'll say that much. But you're looking for advice on what to do next. We have three Transcendence Heroes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping since I see that Jara, we have a Rui. And we have Demon Bells. All right, so far, so good, Dark. Uh, you started at the end of 18, started 19. Yeah, pretty much the same as me since we are in the same server cluster. But you do have two Transcendence Heroes and you have the Energy Artifacts to go with it, which is perfect. Now, have you beaten Vanquisher? Is there actually a way to tell? Yeah, leaderboard. Uh, you haven't gone to Vanquisher 1. I mean, not a big deal. It is a gem investment for rerolling planets. That's for two, for for sure. Three transcendence. Um, not a bad spot to be in. You are sitting at almost two million crystals of transcendence, working towards your third. So that's pretty solid. Uh, you are a little short on void imprints. That's for sure. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty solid. Looks like you are. Sitting on a Delacium PVE team with your Ithaqua. You have your correct householders, it looks like, for your Sword Flash. Yep, you're starting working on the Gloria, which is good as well. Uh, yeah, I think he just needs to have more Stellar Shards, really, at this point than anything. He has the heroes he needs. Of course, still work on that Gloria. I think getting that Gloria to E5 is worthwhile on this account to get some progress. Uh, the other thing we have to check is to check your sea lands to make sure you're at 20 on everything. Perfect, you even have 25 done in Abyss. I mean, Dark, you're doing everything right here. There's nothing you're doing wrong. The only thing you don't really need is like the ticks. Everything else on this account feels like it has a purpose. You do have a bunch of 10 stars, which you know I don't usually like unless you're building towards something, but... Um, our Sword Flash sitting here with a Attack Attack Holy and a Punisher is sitting at 1 million. I mean, that's not bad if you if you switch some stuff around. What are you running? Precision, Holy Damage, Crit. I mean, I always like running this one right here as a damage reduction. If we were to swap this over even to something like more attack oriented, that puts you still above 1 million. So it's not a big difference there. Um, you should be able to do a Vanquisher 1. It's just... Oh, you're even doing like a full-out attack 3-1 setup. Huh. Is that worth it nowadays? This is what? This is 1,050,000? It actually is a little bit... Oh, hold on. Let me put the same artifact on. It's not a big difference in attack. It is a slight difference, but you're getting so much more. You're getting crit damage. You're getting a lot more HP and attack. Maybe a difference of what? You're getting eight. What's the difference here now? It's barely a difference. I don't see a need for doing a 3-1 to be honest. Yeah, yeah, for Broken Spaces uh, 8 and 9, you have the ticks, so you can keep the ticks for that. I passed to fire like a week ago. Oh, that's pretty solid then. Uh, let it till I have Jara who didn't even use her. <laughs> You'll need Jara for your Vanquisher push, but I would save up to like, I think you're at what, like 14? Save up to like 20 to 30,000 uh, gems. Wait till we're kind of in a lull. Like a month like right now would be perfect to do the push when you don't need a lot of stuff to purchase. No huge events coming along. And then you can get that done right there. Uh, the 10% armor break too. Which piece was that actually on? I forget. Yeah, the 10% armor break. That's I, I would always stick with this. Yes, you lose what? 20,000 attack roughly. Uh, but you gain a lot of other stuff here. Tons of HP and abilities. So not too bad overall. You do have the Rui. You got an Antler's Cane. 
What other artifacts are we sitting on? A Punisher. We have an A and B. We got the double setup. We got a Kiss a Ghost. Not bad. Kiss a Ghost. And uh, that's not bad on the Inosuke. We got a crown being built. Yeah, honestly, at this point, the biggest thing you just need to invest in, I feel like, is like just tons of crowns. Because any other sea land you want to push past 20, uh, you're going to need like a crown on everybody. An upgraded crown. Is it worth it to complete Vanquisher 1? Does completing it guarantee checkpoint on Vanquisher 1? I'm pretty sure even if you're like, even if you clear Vanquisher 1, you still start back at Vanquisher 6 and have to do it every week. Like if you want the rewards. Which artifact would be better for Defire plus three star staff or cane? So here's the what you need to make a difference. And this is kind of helps Dark out too when deciding on how to push for Vanquisher. Early Vanquisher, typically you run a Punisher staff for like maybe Vanquisher 6, Vanquisher 5, because you're not going to be going too many rounds. You're going to want to win the rounds within the first three to four rounds. You need to like decisively have your victory. Uh, the other option besides Punisher is also Melodic Strings, and Melodic Strings and Punisher both serve a similar purpose. When you start changing your Sword Flash over to the Antler's Cane is when you're starting to go into combats that go longer and longer, and you're relying more heavily on the Jaras keeping them CC'd. Uh, the damage bonuses from Antler's Cane start stacking up. If you're going past round like 6 or 7, a max Antler's Cane will be beating out a max Melodic Strings in overall damage as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's up to you whether whether you want to do each one. You do have a Melodic kind of being built, which honestly you don't really need on this account. You don't need the Melodic Strings. It is a nice artifact to have. You have a couple other stuff brewing here too. Uh, but the Melodic is kind of like, if you already have a Splendid Punisher, there's no need to even go for one. So, yeah. Um, besides that though, I think you're in a good spot. It just depends on if you want to push any other sea lands. You're, like I said, your hero list is fine. The Ticks is kind of unneeded unless you want it for uh, Broken Space's eight and nine just to save some tickets but i'm sure you have a like, yeah you have a ridiculous number of tickets you don't need it for eight and nine you can just hit it and still have a net positive for every month so you don't really have to worry about that unless you're really trying to save tickets for maybe 10 11 that might come out down the road everybody else seems to be good though you have a team that could probably start pushing fortress sea land pretty soon now and as far as next transcendence hero goes that's a tough one to pick i would go for for fortress next your best bet would probably be on this account to build another sherlock which you have the copies of uh, another sherlock two sherlocks fiona inosuke uh sword flash that type of team should be able to get 25 done pretty good um and yeah, if you don't really care about Vortex, you don't really need the Jar. If you want to swap her to Vesa, that would probably be the next best hero to build on this account. I, Eos won't do much. A Lord of Fear Aspen and Asmodel, they won't do much. Vesa is just such a versatile hero, so I think that's a really good way to do. Do you think uh, Queen and other supports can clear levels beyond ceiling 25? I haven't tried it yet. I haven't seen much either, so it's kind of hard to say, but... Vesa would be a good substitute. You could always wait, though, because Vesa's not going to do much difference for you. The only thing swapping to Vesa is going to do is mean you can't really push Vanquisher because you need the Jara. So it's like a give or take, honestly. It's up to you. Everything else on this account looks perfectly fine. Everything does, with the exception of you don't really need ticks, but you can keep ticks. So 100% up to you. Overall, though, very solid account. It looks like you haven't really made too many mistakes, and it looks pretty good. We'll